This is the iPhone 12 and this is a MagSafe charger. Mm, so satisfying. I'm gonna walk you through how MagSafe works as well as show you some best practices you need to know when charging and walk you through all of the MagSafe cases and chargers from Apple. Let's do this. Hey, before we jump in, take a moment and subscribe to the How To Do It All channel for more weekly how-to videos. There is a problem with wireless charging. And no, I'm not referring to the fact that there is, well, an actual wire. But when you put a phone on a Qi wireless charger, even if it's a cool one like this Millennium Falcon here, if it's not positioned just right, your phone might not charge. To quote Darth Vader, I hate it when my phone doesn't charge on its wireless charger. Apple's solution is to use magnets inside the phone and charger to connect them together in an ideal position. This ensures it gets the most efficient charge possible. In fact, the MagSafe charger here can charge up to 15 watts versus the 7.5 watt charge on many Qi chargers. But uh, there's some wrinkles in there I'm gonna talk about in a moment. MagSafe also uses your iPhone's NFC to connect with the charger or MagSafe accessory. This means your phone can know what it's connected to. For example, if I connect a MagSafe charger, an animation of a ring appears on the screen. And if I connect a MagSafe detachable wallet, there's the same ring, but there's also a shaded out area that's the same size and shape as the wallet. Yeah, pretty cool. What's also cool is MagSafe works along with other non-charging MagSafe accessories. So for example, if I have a MagSafe case on my iPhone 12 Pro Max, I don't have to take it off to get a good charge. Apple is even opening up MagSafe to third-party companies to make their own accessories. So there are MagSafe cases from OtterBox, there's a charging stand from Belkin. One of the coolest uses for MagSafe comes from the company Moment, who is making a MagSafe tripod mount for the iPhone. So yeah, it's obvious that there's a lot of potential way beyond just charging your phone with MagSafe. Now let's talk about all of the MagSafe accessories Apple has starting with the MagSafe charger. It costs $39, and it's a circular pad with a USB-C cable hardwired to it. It works via MagSafe with all of the iPhones 12, but you can also charge other Qi devices like older iPhones, Android phones, and even your AirPods case. They just won't charge quite as fast. Once you get the MagSafe charger out of the box, you're gonna run into your first question. What do I plug it into? Remember that 50 watt charge I mentioned earlier? You only get that by using Apple's 20 watt USB-C wall charger. And this thing costs $19. The iPhone 12 family does not come with this charger in the box and the MagSafe charger doesn't come with one either. So what are you gonna plug it into? For me, I plugged it into my MacBook Pro. I wanted to see if there was an obvious difference between using this MagSafe charger plugged into my MacBook Pro and using it with the 20 watt charger. So here's the results. I left the MagSafe charger plugged into my MacBook for an hour with the iPhone 12 attached. The battery went from 27% to 65%. That's a gain of 38% on the iPhone 12. So basically a third of the battery was filled in 60 minutes. After the battery drained down, I plugged the MagSafe charger into the Apple 20 watt wall charger with the iPhone 12 attached. After an hour, the battery went from 27% to 75%. That's almost 50%. And remember, this is a $58 setup. Also, this isn't a wireless charging pad. You just can't pick up your phone off the charger like you would the Millennium Falcon wireless charger. Instead, you actually have to use two hands to take the charger off. And at that point, why do you even have a MagSafe charger? Why not just use the lightning cable that comes with your phone? Not only is it gonna charge faster, but if you bought that Apple 20 watt charger with that cable, you'd be able to charge this phone up to 50% in 30 minutes. Now let's talk about another charger Apple sells for MagSafe. It's called the MagSafe Duo Charger. This is basically a MagSafe charger. Mm, so, so satisfying. With an Apple Watch charger. So you can charge both your iPhone and Apple Watch at the same time. There are gonna be so many people who want this. And what's really cool is it folds up in half, so you can throw it in a pocket, you can throw it in a bag or a purse, and it's covered in this rubberized material, and on the outside is an embossed Apple logo. 
What's cool is when you fold it open, you have two charging pads. One's for your iPhone and one is for your Apple Watch. For the Apple Watch, you can lay it flat or you can pop it up and charge it on its side, which is great if you have one of those bands that don't open. What's nifty is you can charge your devices just like this in the open position, but you can also fold this charger inside out so the chargers are on the outside and charge either your Apple Watch or your iPhone one at a time. I could see the MagSafe Duo charger being the thing to get with your iPhone. However, it only comes with a USB-C to lightning cable. There's no wall charger. You have to buy this extra. Also, your iPhone 12 comes with a USB-C cable. So now you're gonna have two of these cables and no wall charger. So yeah, and when you add in the fact that this MagSafe Duo charger costs $129, yeah, it just seems a bit much for all that. Now I have to admit, I really do like this charger almost as much as I like the MagSafe detachable wallet. This has been my favorite accessory. You can use it without a case or stack it on top of another MagSafe case like that. I think that looks really cool. Now this little wallet is premium. There's a little thumb hole that helps you get your cards out. The leather is really nice and the MagSafe detachable wallet cost $59, which I think is actually pretty fair. Which brings me to MagSafe cases. These seem to be similar to other Apple cases over the years with MagSafe Incorporated. There is a $59 leather case, a $49 silicone case, and a $49 clear plastic one, which has kind of won me over. The Pacific blue of the iPhone 12 Pro through that clear case with the white MagSafe circle and dash resembles almost a racing stripe. On the inside of all the cases, you'll see a MagSafe circle. And on the whole, these cases feel well-made. The leather one is particularly nice. And that said, Apple warns about wear and tear, which makes sense, it's leather, but there's also a chance of wear and tear when using the leather case and the MagSafe chargers too, which I guess that makes sense. And last, there's this leather sleeve. With your phone inside, there's a window that lets you check the time. It also shows a tiny animation when the phone is charging, kind of like the detachable wallet. There is a shielded section for your cards. And last, it has a cool little wrist strap, and this costs $129. So that is MagSafe and a tour of Apple's MagSafe accessories and cases. There is a lot of potential with MagSafe beyond what Apple has shown today. And I'm excited to see how MagSafe is used and expanded over time. But I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of MagSafe? Are you planning on getting a MagSafe case for your iPhone? What's the accessory that you look forward to getting most? Throw your thoughts in the comments.